polyurea, polydipsia, and polyphagia. Memorizing this is not going to cut it because they're not going to throw these three terms at you. So let's understand why in diabetes, we're going to have polyurea, polydipsia, and polyphagia. Well, let's start with polyurea. What's happening with polyurea? We're peeing a lot. And in this situation, we've got a diabetic patient. Well, what's the problem with the diabetic patient? We've got too much sugar in our blood. How are we going to get rid of it? We pee it out. So as our body's trying to get rid of this sugar by peeing it out, we're naturally going to get more thirsty, polydipsia. But where does the polyphagia come in? Where does it, where do we get this hunger from? Sugar should be in the cell. That's what the purpose of insulin is. And that's the problem with diabetes because with insulin, we take the sugar into the cell, but without insulin or insulin resistance, we're having a lot of sugar floating around in the blood and it's not in the cell, no insulin, no sugar in the cell. So as our cells don't have sugar, they feel like they're starving, which means our body gets hungry polyphagia. We try to pee out the sugar, which makes us thirsty, polyuria, polydipsia. Our sugar should be in the cell, but it's not. So we're going to start to feel hungry because our cells are starving, polyphagia. Hope you understand this instead of just memorize it.